In this problem, which is which was problem number A, the geometry problem, we have a quadrilateral and there is a circle inscribed in it. And we know the distances from the center of the circle to the vertices are the distances are five, seven, four, and nine. And we would like to find the ratio of A B over C D. Yes. Alright, so whenever we have circles tangent to lights, a great thing to start to do is just to draw the altitudes for the radii. Um, so if we draw in these four, then we see that they're all going to have the same length. They're all going to be R. And then we notice that AB over CD is going to be the ratio of the areas of the triangle ABI to CDI. Because they have the same height, which is R. Mm -hmm. And so this is equal to the ratio of ABI. And well, we also know something else about these two triangles. We know two of the side lengths, right? So there's we know another formula for the area of a triangle, which is um, one half AB sine C. Right? We have a triangle. Just to briefly review. We have a triangle um, A B C. This is A. This is B. This is the angle. This is theta. And the area. Sine of theta over two. Yeah. So you can also use this formula. Um, and <coughs> that gives us that this is equal to. Which is very nice, right? Because you know the ratio, the product of the yeah. di and bi. Yeah. So this is equal to minus 5 times 7 times sine of a of a i b over. Um, Four times nine times sine of the angle C I D. And then these one halves will cancel out. This is great. So now all we need to do is find the ratio of the side of this big angle to the side of this other big angle. But how are we going to do that? We don't seem to know much about those angles from the way. Well, something weird, which is that the sides cancel out some way. So either they're equal or they are complex. Yeah. Well, if you look at the <clears throat> at the diagram, there are actually four angles that make this diagram happen. These are two of these angles, if you can call them alpha, alpha, beta, beta, uh, gamma, gamma, okay, and this one, delta, delta. Okay. So these four angles basically determine your picture and uh, what will be the, the ratio of the sides. Well, so again, these angles are equal because we have two tangents. For point A, we have two tangents to the same circle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, well, that's, this is pretty good because angle of A, I, B is 180 minus alpha minus beta, right? Mm -hmm. And angle C, I, D is 180 minus delta minus gamma. So, another way to think about that is to write it as 90 minus alpha plus 90 minus beta. That's the sum of this angle and this angle, right? And this is equal to 90 minus gamma plus 90 minus delta. Okay, you can think of that way, but what do you know about alpha, beta, gamma, and delta? Right, so now that's the key step, which is that um, if we have all of these four angles, we get 360, right? Because it's quadrilateral. So that means that alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equal to 180 degrees, which is half of that. So it doesn't really matter now which way we think about it, but we see that if we add the AID and the CID, We're going to get 360 minus alpha minus 
minus b over minus gamma minus delta, which is equal to 1a. Great. So another thing we know, which is that if you have two angles that add up to 180 degrees, their sines are the same. Right? So that means that in this equation, sine aib is actually equal to sine cid. So the answer is 35 over 36. I think this solution is very inspirational because first of all you need to come up with the ratio of areas, right? Second of all, you just take a leap of faith and say, okay, I'll just take a look at those the ratio of sides at the end. Uh, usually when I solve this problems, the first approach I take is maybe simple fashion. So I can show how one can think about a solution that is not creative at all. Uh, first of all, this picture, as you said, it all depends on these four angles and this R, right? So initially what we're given, we're given AI. So we're given R sine alpha, correct? R sine beta, R sine gamma, and R sine delta. And it should be R over. Um, sorry, yes. It's going to be R over. Yes. And what we actually need to find, we need to find the ratio of AB over C, right? Can we express this ratio in terms of R? So AB in terms of R is going to be what? Well, we can say that's R over tangent alpha. R plus R, R which has to be there because that gives you AX and BX. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be R sine alpha, cosine alpha, right? This is my AX plus R cosine beta over sine beta, right? So together, if you add up, it's going to be R sine alpha, sine beta, and what's going to be at the top? Cosine alpha, sine beta, cosine alpha, sine beta. Which part? Which is sine alpha. By the trigonometric identity, right? And in similar fashion, I know that CD is equal to R sine of gamma delta over sine gamma sine delta, right? So now I don't have have too much uh, knowledge, but to understand that if I take ratio. I know the ratio of sines, I just have to know what's the ratio of these sines, right? And this reduces to the problem that we just saw. We know that they are equal because these two angles are supplementary, right? So same thing, but <laughs> no, no much creativity is needed. Yeah, but that means this, this version of the is a because the test version of the current is part of my 